one thing editing does for me, uh, it makes me a way better listener. And that's just podcasting in general. Because like, you know, when you're, when you're talking, I'm paying attention, don't get me wrong. When any guest is talking, I'm, pay, I'm paying attention. But I'm not just paying attention to what you're saying. I'm paying attention to, okay, where can I bring this next? I'm thinking two steps ahead. So it makes me a better listener. And if you can be a better listener in a world where everyone likes to talk and no one likes to listen, it's a very good skill to pick up. I, I, I couldn't agree more. I want to honor you for that development of skill. So everybody mostly listens to answer or to respond. And you choosing to develop the skill to actually listen, to hear what someone is saying or trying to say or what they mean is a valuable thing and will be greatly not only appreciated, but it'll be a big win in your business because people will feel drawn to someone who actually learns to listen. Yeah. Cause like when I listen to if someone's like, it's like, Hey, give me some advice in this podcast. It's like, okay, I know what to listen for. Right. Cause it's just like, you know, I'll, I'll listen to it, but not only when I listen to it, it's nothing I practice. Where if I'm listening to your podcast to give advice specifically, I listen to the podcast in the exact same setting I listen to all my favorite podcasts, typically playing video games or typically, you know, in the car, in the shower, cooking dinner. Because I can, if I'm paying attention to the podcast, that's the best thing I can tell you. You had my attention. I can do this, this, and that. If I listen to it and I don't remember anything, then I have to go back and go, okay, that's an issue. Red flag, red flag number one is that like I just couldn't pay attention to it. So then I have to go back and actually listen to give them actual point. It's like, like this, tell them, yeah, man, listen to it. Couldn't pay attention. Sorry, I got nothing for you. That doesn't work. That doesn't work at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that would be a, that would be a struggle. That would be so quite anyway, I really want to honor you for that, for, for developing the skill of listening. That's really important and something that people are often so self-conscious about. And so worried that they're going to say something stupid or look silly or worried about what other people are thinking that they don't take the emotional effort to listen. That's really good. It's so hard to listen to yourself. Do you struggle with that? Do you, do you like the sound of your own voice? Are you the one person out there who likes the way they, they sound on a microphone? Uh, every person that I've ever worked with in the studio, especially vocalists, the first time or two or 10, they hear themselves singing or narrating. They say, I don't sound like that. But why do I, and they say what you said and what they don't realize is they don't half of our hearing apparatus is the station tubes and the bone conduction and stuff in, in your head. So yeah. what you sound like on a recording is what you actually sound like. What you hear in your head's got nothing to do with what you sound like because other people can't hear all that other stuff. So because I've been in the studio business so long, I don't, it's not an issue. But everybody does that, and, and the truth is it's because they we sound different to ourselves because of all that internal stuff yeah. going on. I hope you were listening. I hope you paid attention. I mean, if you don't listen to a clip about listening, I don't have to tell you. Go back and watch it again. Hit that like button and subscribe button. Don't hit the bell, though. The bell is annoying. Uh, but, yeah, new content every single day on this channel, full podcast in the description down below. Check out Your Ultimate Life with uh, Kellen and his podcast. Uh, I really like talking to Kellen. I didn't know what to expect, and I was pleasantly surprised. If you want to pleasantly surprise me, email me at will at APSpodcast.com, and I'll get you on the podcast. Just send me a link to your podcast, and tell me why you want to be on, and uh, we'll work it out if you're good. Thank you.